Hi, this is David Keenan with MicroQuant, and this is the free video for Monday, August 10th, 2015. Now, I'm looking at Apple here. Ever since that drop uh, after earnings, Apple has made a slow and steady decline. Uh, the worst of it was last week on the 5th. After that, we had an inside bar, an inside bar, and today we are breaking to the upside. Now, the question is, is this a realistic move that could continue higher? Um, I think there's a possibility. So get, let me give you both scenarios. First of all, from a fundamental standpoint, Apple really uh, does not look good. Um, consistently lower lows on the weekly chart. This also looks very weak. Um, also, uh, VBT is very strongly bearish still. Um, we are still uh, having a relatively weak momentum bounce right now, but also you're looking at a re potential retracement move from this swing high to this swing low. We are just about to reach the 38.2% retracement. Another thing is we're hitting resistance and starting to break above it here on the monthly low of uh, 119.22. That is that bar from the, the 9th of July. Um, now, from a bearish standpoint, this thing could easily just be making a dead cat bounce uh, right into this support zone. Now, depending on how we close, should close above the 8 EMA. If we continue higher, we're going to potentially run into the 50-day EMA. I think a lot of what happens in Apple will be dependent on the move in the NASDAQ. Now that's kind of saying what happens uh, in the NASDAQ uh, also depends on Apple. So they're kind of very important to each other. So at this point, moderately overvalued, if you feel that Apple may roll over, uh, there's a, this is a good entry point um, because of VBT still falling. Now, uh, tomorrow you may get a higher high, and then if you get a higher high, higher low pattern, it's going to continue to move up, especially in a strong market, to which Apple can contribute. Again, we've fallen for a number of weeks here. I think a little bit of a bounce is in order. I think the next major resistance level will be the 50-day if we continue this higher high. I think the most efficient way to trade Apple right now is to understand generally it's bearish, be, know that it has a upcoming news event um, uh, on the 9th. That is their normal uh, beginning of fall um, announcement on new products. And um, and uh, we're, we're, we do have that resistance level at the 50-day. The best way to trade it, I would think, is to watch the price action in Apple on a 60-minute chart. And if you get any reversals, uh, to the downside, that's the way to trade Apple. Okay, other than that, let Apple continue to rise with the rising market. Thank you.